Hey friends, it's 30 days, 30 days, June 2024. We're on day 29, the penultimate day, which honestly should be our favorite, right? Because it's penultimate. Anyway, but it's not ink ultimate, which is what we're here for. Um, Whatever. My partner's in the next room gaming, so if you hear her talking, it's not him. There's weirdos here. Just kidding, it's him. Uh, here's yesterday. Diamine Odenil. Ooh. Odenil, maybe? Anyway, in my uh, la la la. Love this pen. It's beautiful, it's hefty, and it actually writes now. Um, anyway, here's it here with this weird nose of green. But we're moving on. We're leaving the past behind. And today it's midnight. And, okay, look, do you see what I did? I'm really pleased with this choice of nail polish to match the ink. Everything else, who knows? And I'm going to put it in my black Twisby Eco, probably a B, like its owner. I also have a drink today. I just made it, haven't tasted it yet. We'll do it live. It's similar to yesterday's, but involves a trip to the the Derby or the Darby, as they would say in the country where the drink is not from. It's a mint julep, except for it's not in a julep glass, nor does it have crushed ice, because like, who has time? That's hot. Very uh, spirit forward. The mint's nice. What would I do differently for that? I don't know. Maybe a little bit of juice or something. Now I'm thinking about boiled goose. Look, my mind is a weird place and nobody wants to be there. I beat another game today. I've been trying to go through my backlog. I actually own quite a lot of games that have short play times. Um, and a fair number of games that have incredibly long play times. Hmm. Does this smell bad? Um, the reason I get some with very short play times is because when you play those games that take you hundreds of hours to play dozens of hours at the very least then you're like you can feel like you're not accomplishing anything so i speed a game that was my total play time was five hours i played it over the course of a few nights that was too much ink I am concerned that this ink has changed. I think that's a fair concern at this moment. This also worried me. But I figured that could be shimmer. Because I can kind of see that in here. That same shade. The ink looks fine. I don't see anything floating in it. But that is incredibly different and disappointing. Um, unless, I mean, how would I have mislabeled it? <laughs> I squirted some in the water. Uh, it looks all right, just looks not the same. 
weird because this was so good and that is not so good it's all right it's fine perfect is the enemy of done and sometimes it's the enemy of good it's definitely the enemy of good enough This almost looks like Wish by Starlight though. Or maybe this does? Weird. I suppose it could be a difference in paper. Maybe this has changed over time? I'm like making a lot of allowances for things that could have happened, huh? This is a dominant industry. And Colt pens, Midnight, and my Twisby Eco Black with a broad nib. Just bizarre. Like, for real, if any of you have this ink, I need to know if this has been your experience. We'll come over here and we'll look at it on this paper. Look at, look at how these inks look almost the same on the back of the paper. Fascinating. This has been a day for me and I'm, it's unfortunate that it's continuing it to this point as well, but sometimes we have days, you know? Sometimes we have days with a capital D. Uh, so this is 30 inks, 30 days, June 2024, day 29. I don't know if I've ever had an ink that I know of that changed color so dramatically. Um, in a bottle. There was one that was a sample that we got in Ink Flight. I think it was one of the Andorillium inks. Um, I can't be sure of that though, so no shade intended. But the ink was just definitely, I came back to it, it was definitely not the same color. And, and honestly, it may have even been in this color family. So maybe there's some kind of dye that they used that's fugitive, though I usually thought that pigments were fugitive and not dyes. Anyway. Um, and that doesn't mean like they're wanted by the law. It's, uh, you know, they're not permanent damage by sunlight kind of thing. Um, Splat. To be honest, this is not midnight. This color is like I keep looking at the bottle, seeing did I possibly mislabel it. So weird. Maybe I'll hit them up. It's been a while since I bought this, but see if they know if they got bad batches or something. Um, the only reason I went ahead with filling this pen is because Twisby going black is replaceable. Because um, otherwise, I think I'd be worried that it could do damage. That mint smell is real good. Excuse me. It's very good. But it's too... I have a smooth bourbon in there. That's a Basil Hayden. Only 40%. So it's not as 
sharp usually, but that is very assertive. Like, what even? What even? Please, for real, if you're seeing this, let me know. Do you have this ink and has this happened? Have you seen this happen to any other inks from Dominant Industry? Um, let me see. Well, now's the time when I usually do this thing, but this isn't dry yet because I added a little more. But, wow. You know, not what I would have preferred to happen this evening. It is evening after work. But this is how things go sometimes, you know? You can't always get what you want. I'm just tipping this to like redistribute where that ink is. <laughs> I'm really curious what's happening in there. If you can hear him saying, wow, over and over again. Probably somebody said something that was a joke or a burn. It's his sort of response for that. Like, how are these the same ink? Oh my gosh. I'm gonna, sh yeah. I don't even know what to do. Like, you almost just want to mulligan, but I can't. It's in here now. It is how it is. It is as it is. So it goes. Well, I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a wonderful day and not struggling with color changing inks. <laughs> Take care of yourselves. Bye.